I hope you've never heard of him because it's such a fascinating story. And if it's your first time hearing it, fantastic. But I truly believe mixed martial arts probably saved your life, Seth. Would you would you agree with that based on your upbringing? I mean, I I, I don't think about it all the time because I'm so busy with life. And I, I think a little bit is designed, even if I if subconsciously I do it. But every now and then someone asks me a question about like, you know, I'll see somebody from where I grew up or a teacher or something. I saw this, uh, my old teacher, Miss Loftus, and they, they always just sent me the resource because I was so dang crazy. And I was such a problem. Teachers did not get paid enough to deal with me. And this, she was a beautiful person. Um, she, her name is Tanya Loftus and I saw her at a game and she said hey Seth you know I've been following your career and I was like what's up bro and she was like did you ever think that you would go all the places and do all the things you did you've done did you ever really think that something like that would happen I was like well I was always pretty confident that if I put the work in whatever I did I, I, I could hit the outcome I'm looking for and she's like well, you're always very dedicated. And she's like, you know, I've been a teacher for 35 something years. She's like, I'm a, I'm a principal and, and this job's never taken me anywhere. And I was like, holy smokes, man. Like the, the she's given her life to that. And then the, here's this, here's this mongoloid just gets, just gets, gets to go do it, you know? And, and it, it really like on the way home, I was really like, like taken back by it and just thinking like, man, like, you know, uh, how lucky I am. And every now and then someone will say something where it's just like, I, you don't think about it because you're in life. But when you say it and you're, you're on your ride home and the radio is off and you're kind of thinking like, dang, man, like how the hell did I end up here? And to some people, they would look at my life and just think it's a life. But it's hard for me to really articulate um, where I came from and who I who I was always told I was going to be versus who I am. And uh, I bet you it's a stark difference between those two. Right. Cause I mean, I was, I remember vividly being places and, and being in front of stores and like the way people would look at us. We were always the poorest people in every town we went to, you know, uh, relatively close, but what my mom and dad were good people, you know, like, I like to say that they were there were two people that were treading in water and they could barely stay afloat in the middle of the ocean and someone gave them five kids, you know, like they, it was hard. It's hard. It's hard for some people to get to this life, you know, and everyone has different battles. And I just remember looking at people like, why are you guys looking at me like that? I would be looking around like, who are y'all looking at? <laughs> you know, and then when I realized they're looking at me, I was just like, what, you know, I'm just trying to get through my day or whatever. And I you think you ever, guys were probably a rough house too, though. Like, well, my brother's a sociopath, man. When I tell people my bro, my my babysitter was a sociopath, they laugh. They're like, "You're funny," but I'm I'm not joking. <laughs> like, you know, like he's crazy. You know, it's crazy. So, you know, your brother, who you just mentioned, he, I think he's is he doing time? Oh, yeah. Currently? Yeah. Yeah. How, how long has he been locked up? I mean, he's been locked up more than half his life. He's he's five years older than me okay so he's just um, kind of in and out so i mean and, and we'll, we'll, we're gonna obviously yeah. circle back but imagine if mixed martial arts was subtracted like all that time that you spent in the gym or friday and saturday night at a fight whether you were fighting or not fighting if you made that free time you'd be sitting next to your brother right now i think it's fairly safe to say bro it's it's insane um, and I don't like, bro, I'm so, all, all the time I'll be driving, I'll, I'll like look at a sunset or something and just be like, you know, fuck, he, like so many people don't get to that. see, yeah. so many people I know don't, don't get to see that. Check out the full interview on iTunes, Spotify, and all major podcast platforms.